Firefighters from Mombasa City Council and Kenya Ports Authority arrived at the hotel in Shanzu to put out the flames. But they were overwhelmed by the raging fire and could not salvage anything. The wind blowing from the sea fanned the flames. Nobody was injured in the incident, but locals estimate that the damage is likely to run into millions. According to the administration manager of the hotel, Adam Musa, 160 people had already been employed and were undergoing training ahead of the official opening. Musa said the hotel had already recorded a 90% booking for the Easter holidays in April this year. He appealed to the police to unearth the truth as full play could not be ruled out. Mpaka tuvofika leo, tulikuwa tuanze operation in a week's time. Na at the same time tulikuwa tumeanza kurecruit staff who were undergoing training at the moment. Local politicians appealed to the Mombasa City Council to improve its firefighting equipment. We need to think of uh, coming up with fire fighting equipment, primarily intended for the hotel industry. Maybe after every so kilometers, we should be able to have a, a fire engine station in case of uh, any problem. Just like the way we have fire engine station at the airport. Sara kama hii vile metokea, tuangali njia tu, whether serikali naeza kusaidia na mnagani, hata kama ni to waive some taxes or duties, and the items ambazo bengine zitakuja kumwea o kumwezesha mwenye hiyo teli kusaidika aweze kurecover na aingie katika biashara. Police say no one was injured during the incident. The cause of the fire is not known, but police have started investigations. Local leaders say there is a need to put up firefighting facilities along the beach so that such incidents can be reduced.